The last couple of days have seen southern Arizona kind of slide into some colder temperatures. And while it's maybe sweater and boot weather for us humans, there's some important things to remember for keeping your pets happy and comfortable when it gets a little chilly out. Samantha Esquivel from the Humane Society of Southern Arizona is here with some cold weather tips for your pets. Hi. Hello. <laughs> There's a perky hi. Yeah, she's all ready. Excited to see you guys. So, I, this might be a silly question, but because our animals have fur, aren't they just normally warm outside? You would think that. However, uh, for short haired pets like Savannah here, uh, it can be a little more difficult for them to keep warm. Uh, so, I always recommend that if you have short haired dogs like Savannah or a Boxer or a Chihuahua, um, that if they are going outdoors, that you do put a sweater on them. It helps to keep them warm and they're not shivering and freezing, although Chihuahuas do shiver on their own just to keep, you know, you know, I don't know why they do that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I always recommend if they're short haired to put a sweater on them. So when people are like, oh, you're one of those people that put a sweater on your dog, it's for good reason. Yeah, it's not a fashion statement yeah. necessarily solely. It is to keep them warm. And I always recommend that if it is super cold outside, if you're cold outside, you should probably bring your pet indoors. Mm -hmm. I know that they like to be outside, but uh, it can get really, really cold. Absolutely. And we did mention. A Savannah, but I bypass yeah. right past her for the first question. Who is this adorable <laughs> little pup, and is she adoptable? Yeah, she is. So this is Savannah. She is a Shepherd Doberman mix. She is two years old, and uh, she was brought to the Humane Society because she doesn't seem to get along with any other dogs. Mm. Oh, okay. So you know what? That's something about Savannah that we're embracing because she wants all the attention to herself. So we're trying to get her adopted. She's been at the shelter for some time now. So if anyone out there is looking to add one dog to their family and have it be the only dog, she would be perfect. And she's very gentle. Like mm -hmm. when she's taking the treat from yeah. her hand, she's just very gentle. Yeah, she's very gentle. She's very obedient. She has all of her basic obedience down. And so she would make a great addition to any family. Now, once you at home, of course, take her home and make yeah. her the family member, that's where, where these, you know, tips are going to kind of come into play. Absolutely. And I know we were talking about short haired dogs mm -hmm. and we were talking about sweaters. So even if you have like a long haired dog, maybe don't get like a super short haircut for the dog during this time of year. Right. I always recommend that if you have a long haired dog that you don't get their hair cut really short unless they're going to be indoors all of the time. Uh, and that's just because it helps to keep them warm. And it's really cool because fur works as an insulator. So like Huskies or Shelties, these dogs are always outdoors, indoors, outdoors. And so we have to make sure that we're not getting them short haircuts. Yeah. My Yorkie, Mia, mm -hmm. well, she has a summertime cut and a winter <laughs> cut. Her hairdresser knows the difference. <laughs> You know, you gotta. You so, gotta what is the winter cut then? The winter cut is long. It's very long. You know, she's got the long hair. Yeah. But we just have them kind of trim up the face a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. So, I recommend <laughs> that to everybody out there that they have a winter cut so yep. that they get a little bit of a trim, but they're not shaving out their yep. entire coat. So exactly. That's very important. And if we have dogs that are normally outside dogs, how can we keep them warm? Well, I always see. I, I always recommend that you bring your pets indoors because being exposed to the elements, it's so dangerous for them. So, especially during winter time when pipes are freezing, uh, when it's super duper cold, bring your pets indoors. There's no other way. I've seen before where oh yes, I have no more treats. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen before where pets can freeze to death, and so we don't want it to get to these circumstances. So always bring your pets indoors if it's cold outside. And on top of that, there's also extra risk. During these winter times, people have like antifreeze out and things like that. Yeah, so uh, especially with cats, if your cats and dogs are indoors, outdoors, we use antifreeze as it starts to get cold and it's sweet to them. So when they taste it, it's really good. It's like candy, I guess you could say, and it could kill them. So once they get any antifreeze in their in their mouths and they swallow it ingested, uh, it will kill them. So if that does in fact happen, make sure that you're rinsing their mouth out right away. Uh, clear any of it in your carports with a hose. Make sure that none of the green is still there. And not only for your pets, but if you have neighborhood cats that roam around, just to make sure that uh, they're not going to drink it and die. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And and Sam, do we have anything fun happening this weekend? We do. So thank you for asking. Uh, this weekend we have two vaccination clinics going on. So we're going to have two in one day from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, we're going to have one out in Marana at the Orame Harn Park. That's 13250 North Lawn Adams Road. And then we're going to have another one out at Park Place Mall from 1 to 4 p.m. And that will be out on Broadway and Wilmont in the parking lot near LA Fitness. And you can get your dog's distemper, Bordetella, the rabies shots. Uh, you can also get them microchipped, which is also a really good idea. So we're encouraging everyone to head out there and get that done. 
Well, that's so yeah. great that people are going to have that opportunity. Absolutely. So again, Savannah is one of the dogs that are uh, up for adoption. So let's let everybody see how beautiful she is. If you'd like to open your home to any type of pet, including Savannah, pay the Humane Society a visit. They're located on Kelvin. That's northeast of Country Club in Fort Lowell. They're open Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 6 and Sundays noon to 5. If you want to call ahead, their number is 327-6088. Samantha, I love it when you come. Thank you.